When it comes to protocol staking, the most commonly asked questions are about what the actual reward rate is for securing the network. Inconsistencies between protocols calculating the staking rewards rate with or without compounding have led to a bit of confusion around what the actual rate is. Furthermore, depending on where you look up the rewards rate, you'll find various percentages. At Figment, we believe in making the invisible visible. In alignment with this, we developed our rewards rate API to index our own on-chain data to provide a single source of truth. Leveraging our rewards rate API, which is one of several APIs that make up our complete staking solution for builders, stakers, and institutions, we developed version one of the rewards calculator. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and take a look at what it can do. There are many use cases here with Figment's reward calculator. At launch, the rewards calculator will support Ethereum, Solana, and Polkadot. Throughout 2023, the Figment team plans to add a mixture of protocols like Matic, Avalanche, Near, Atom, Osmo, and more. With the rewards calculator, users can calculate their protocol staking rewards on a single network or combine multiple networks to calculate cumulative rewards across all protocols. It's really great to be able to see the difference between staking reward rates across several protocols all on one page. On top of this, you'll be able to measure the opportunity opportunity potential when comparing equal stake across multiple protocols and easily be able to share your calculations with your team or friends. One of my favorite features of the rewards calculator is the ability to see the rewards left on the table when you're not compounding monthly, not to mention the principal erosion when just holding on inflationary proof of stake protocols. In case you don't already know, compounding is when your rewards are added to your total stake, earning exponentially more rewards over time. We can see this curve in the calculator as well for chains that allow compounding. However, for Ethereum, there is no compounding, so we won't see that data in the calculator. This is due to Ethereum not being a delegated proof of stake protocol like Solana and Polkadot. On another note for Ethereum, the rewards calculator currently displays the rate without MEV and without priority transaction tips. Depending on the amount of tips per block and the rate of MEV, you could see a higher reward rate than displayed. But be on the lookout for when we have enough historical data to provide these numbers. This is just version one, and we have a lot more in store. So make sure to sign up for our newsletter to stay up to date on all things Figment. Now that we know why Figment made the rewards calculator and what you can do with it, let's take a look at how. The first step is to navigate to the calculator if you're not already here. We can do this by going to figment.io, clicking on stake, and then clicking rewards calculator from the drop-down menu. Once we're here, your calculator should look a bit like this. We'll just go ahead and run through the inputs. Up at the top, we have the networks, currently supported Ethereum, Solana, and Polkadot. Next, you'll enter the amount of tokens that you wish to calculate, the staking duration in months, and here we have the current price. We can hit refresh and it'll refresh the price, but this also gives us a unique ability here. Maybe I think Ethereum in two years is gonna be at 5,000. Now I can see what my 10 validators would be doing at the end of the 24 months. And that's at the current staking rewards rate. Remember how I said earlier that it doesn't include priority tips or MEV? It's interesting because you can see we're at 5.1 that we're showing. This is about what the network is showing right here, current APR. This is the network average, and you can see this over at ethereum.org slash staking. And then if we go over to rated.network and we go to the Figment validator for Ethereum, our backwards looking APR currently is 7.35%, which is quite a bit higher than what we're showing here. We can go ahead and just put in that 7.3 that we're seeing with the backwards looking historical data. So as an example here, we'll go ahead and keep the 10 validators at 24 months and we'll keep the price the same for the 24 months. But what we're going to compare is the difference between our rewards rate at the network average and then the figment rewards rate. Go ahead and save. And then we're going to come down here and put in the 7.35. And then we're going to save that. And now we have the exact same amount of stake with the different rate. So we'll add the totals and we can see clearly the difference in profits just between those two rates. Now remember, just because it has happened in the past doesn't mean it will consistently happen in the future, but this does give you a better idea of the range of rewards that you have the opportunity to earn. And to me, that's really cool. So we're gonna go ahead and clear out this data. We'll look at dot uh, and the compounding difference here, which you can do automatically or not, which is pretty nice. 
Also, say we think the price of Polkadot might change. So we're gonna do a base one. And then let's say we think Polkadot in two years, 24 months, is probably gonna be around $10. And now we can go ahead and save this and add our totals together. Now, if we did both, this is, this is our total because it's combining these two. But if we just wanna look, we can really see the difference between prices. Another thing we can do is we can go back to the calculator. We'll go ahead and clear the data. So we're looking at $400,000. We're gonna go ahead and save this and add another network. And then we're gonna to go to Solana and we want $400,000 again. The same amount of soul to be equivalent dollar wise to the same amount of Ethereum. So we come to the bottom, 400 is about the same, right? So we're gonna go ahead and add this and we'll add the totals. So this is equivalent US dollar amount about and seeing what they'll earn. So with compounding, we get a little bit more outperformance there, just between our stake. Our beautiful calculations done here. We can go ahead and copy them, and we'll go demonstrate this in a new tab, but we'll go ahead and hit enter. And now anybody can see your calculations, and you can also save them. That's a really cool feature. But not only that, once you're done with all your calculations and shared your results with your team and you're ready to stake, you can click the stake now button let us know the best email to reach you at and what tokens you're looking to stake, and we'll have the relevant team member reach out to you. It's really that easy. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video valuable, make sure to share it with a friend. If you or your organization is interested in learning more about Figment or our services, you can find all the relevant links in the description below or at figment.io. I look forward to seeing you there, and until next time, happy staking.